Today we are going to see a crystal report that is being made from more than one table. Okay, so let's start again with a file new. If you have seen the part one of the business report, then you can follow the crystal report as I am going to do it very easily. Let's say new and standard. This time I am going to select multiple tables. As you can see, you have to go to the ODBC and you can select the RDO if you, you should have the correction. I am going to use the extreme table and I am going to say sample database that comes with the crystal report and I am going to finish and I am going to select the tables. Of course you could create a crystal report from the stored procedure also. Right now I am going to select the tables and let's say I wanted to take multiple tables for one was a customer and the that uh, other was a credit go back and here we go customer and credit table created next as you can see the table is related customer and credit is linked with the key that is the credit id number the credit id number is the primary key one of the primary key of the part of the primary key, uh, is the primary key of the credit and is the foreign key in the customer credit okay while the customer id is the customer's primary key okay so we are going to select this fields from these two table right now okay because i am going to deal with the customer first so i am going to select the customer fields first let's say customer id customer name customer first name customer last name and then i'm going to select the customer credit id from i'm going to from the customer credit i am going to select the amount okay that's it i could have selected more fields depending upon what our requirement was Again, I have explained you all these things previous in the previous reports. And just go through it, and then I am going to select next. Okay, does it ask group by? Right now, I am not going to group by in this report again, and maybe in the next report I will deal with the grouping again. In the first report, I have dealt already with the grouping, so in this report, I am not going to deal with the grouping. So I am going to select next, and then it says the filter. Right now, I am not going to use the filter either. I could make a filter condition depending upon what I have required on the credit amount or customer ID or whatever customer name, customer first name, customer last name or the amount. I am not going to do it in this report. So I am going to say next. I am not going to use any template. As you can see there are a lot of templates listed and I am going to say finished. And the report comes up. As you can see the report I, w I don't want this it to be in this format what I wanted was landscape so I go to the file and I go to the PS setup and I go and change the orientation to the landscape ok so when I change the la orientation to the landscape the fields do not realign as you can see the fields remain at the same place I will have to realign them if I want it ok now as you can see the report already is there now I have to reformat the report to look it, make it look good. So I go to the design. See as you can see there is a customer ID. I don't want the customer ID. I just want the word ID. So I double click it. And I just remove the word ID. And I do the same thing with the customer name. I just remove the word customer from it. So this is the anyway the customer report. So everything is dealt with the customer. If it was not and if there had been more than one name, I should have to specify what type of a name is that. Okay. So maybe if there was a customer and employee report together, I could have actually used the amp name or the cost F name depending upon what the this thing. Now as you can see, I have selected all these fields okay and I am going to select it now with the control click and then I am going to format it with the bold and then I am going to center it as you can see this has been centered 
okay now we go to customer preview and there we are okay now that we have got it aligned to the center okay now as you can see the id is id is a number that is being right justified okay similar to the amount that is being also right justified you see id here and the amount here is being right justified i am going to make it aligned to the center because only to the id not to the amount the reason is very simple let's go back to the design and click here and align it to the center you can't align the amount to the left or center because the thing is that amount has to be always right justified now if you see it has been aligned correctly ok now i have the report with more than one table now right now i have go to again to the design board now what i wanted was i wanted a report header so i go to the insert it allows me to insert a text object i could have just chosen it from the toolbar itself i say click and drag and it allows me to type anything so i say customer report that's it again i have to align it to the center and then i may actually format it depending upon the requirement now i'm going to make this field large because this is a header field maybe 28 now it looks okay to me maybe bold okay now we have a customer report so i have to bring a little bit lower so that it shows correctly okay and then i have to make it this thing also here okay now here we go now we have inserted this thing let me format the date first making it big the field size has to be big, made big i have shown you this thing in the first report but i am showing it to you again okay this is it we have formatted the report here now i can always select this object and format the text and choose the color whatever i want so i have chosen the format edit i am go to the border and border tab and it shows me a few colors i can choose or i can select any other color that are raised here okay what the background is showing me what background color do i want so i can choose from these colors that are available or i can choose from colors like if i choose this one do i don't want this color right now so i make this thing a little bit lighter i add this thing to the custom custom color okay i already added it i'll show you again to add it okay take it this one add to the custom color okay there we go once you are done you have seen this thing if i wanted a drop shadow i can click a drop shadow here if i don't want a drop shadow right now i will leave it as it is so i say it's okay now i've got a color similar i will i will i can do it with this thing now let's suppose if i wanted to select the multiple objects and do the same thing what i can do is select the column names and then apply the same thing with the format objects same thing border tab again now this time i'm going to select the background again select more again i'm going to select this thing and make it a lighter lighter and i'm going to add to the custom color and that's it it's not necessary you add to the custom color but just for the sake of showing it to you and then we are done and this is how it is similarly because it is a i'm going to add use the same color for the details record details format object similar way again to the border
again to the background and again to the more and again to the colors okay okay now how do I actually change the background of this I go to the right click it and go to section Ex expert go to the color tab here and choose the background whatever I wanted maybe silver maybe blue depending upon what my liking was or what my requirement was I will select one color and that's it you can select any other color if you like similar way I am going to do it for this section go to the color background color more color so I am going to select the pink ok there we go similarly here I am going to do it and I am going to do, do, do for, the for the rest as you can see again this time I am going to do it again here again I am going to choose the background color maybe this time I am going to select something different maybe let's say purple and I go and make a little bit of light purple color that I want and I say ok and that's done and I am going to put one more color in the section expert again that is going to be the page footer maybe it's going to be uh, more than a little bit of dark purple again and there we go and we are done with the formatting as far as the color now let's go and see the preview ok so far so good ok now Now suppose if you wanted a line below this thing so you could pull this drag it a little bit down and go and click uh, insert and it show you a line option from the menu just click there and drag a line there we are done ok and there it is as you can see there is a lot beautiful lines showing up and then one more thing you won't have to add a text here insert a text object and let's say I want to add a text to say page number ok now I click and drag it to the both of them to the right as you can see one of them and the other one is not aligned correctly I may bring one of them down a little bit and pull it towards the this thing right side and there we go and there we have got reviewed just go and see the report ok now I can save the report as whatever name I want save and I can say grade it ok now if I wanted to send the report to the PDF file I can say export export report there we go and I can select the disk whatever wherever I want to send it and there we are done ask me to select and there we have created a PDF file with the same report and that's it that's we are we are done with this report ok let me save it wherever you want to save you can save it just processing the report and it will take some time and there we are done with it 